Okay, so I'm now on the other side of the airplane. Um, you can see, we'll just walk around. <sighs> there you go. So, I, you know, I, I got those those three sides in, and, I, you know, I built, built my rack, so I want to do the same thing to this side. And I just kind of had a frustrating moment. I, I, I set it up. The tape here was just to gently just bring it that way. Um... Remember, I only have one clamp here, so that teeter-totter effect, that tape just sort of holds it so I can tack it. Now, I took these screws out. This is just sort of floating here. When I, I knew I had a problem because I took, let me grab my level. I took my level, and I leveled it up to here, right? Then, I took a square, let me grab it, and I squared it here. You know, I want to make sure that this edge matches this edge. So, you know, I want to run very true. I want to run extremely plumb, straight up and down. Well, when I did that, I realized that up here, I was out about a 32nd of an inch. Let me just grab a tape. So, I just double-checked myself. I hooked on over here, pulled the measurement, and it, it matched my lower... Uh, fuselage I guess you call it the lower part here it, it did match so I knew I was going good then I hooked her up here and uh, I was off like a 30 second now a 30 second doesn't sound like much but you know you don't want to start doing things like that right now this fuselage every part on here is absolute precision so the first time I, I decided to just let it go and say ah, it's close enough that's when things start to go haywire on a fella because you know, and then you're bringing this side over, and you're making up. And next thing you know, what are you measuring from, right? So if I go to pull measurements from this, and and I'm off, say a thirty second. Well, what does that mean? You see, so it was a little frustrating last night. I, you know, I, I just had to walk away from this project, but now I'm back at it. So I took this down, and uh, you see that mark right in the middle? That's a little indentation of where the pipe itself rubbed. So all I'm going to do is take a rat tail file at that angle. I'm going to set it right on that mark and just go up and down maybe three times and just bring it in so it just tilts in just a little bit. Once I know I have this right and I go right to my pin, I can tack it and I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Then I can run my other two pieces. Then we're back to running. Now, the other frustrating thing, and you know, these videos, I, I shoot... They're live, so if I have a problem, you're going to see it on video. I, you know, airplanes do not go perfect. They don't, you don't just build it in magic land, everything works out. They don't. You have problems. You're going to have problems. It's, one of the problems I'm having right now was a complete screw-up on my part. I took for granted the height. Well, look it. Turns out, my plumbing drain hits the top. <laughs> That's kind of fun to laugh about it, but it hits it hits the fuselage. So I gotta take my whole table now and drop it. <laughs> yeah, never a dull moment. So, thankfully, uh, because I built this on TGI's TJI, whatever you call them, um, it's extremely stiff. So I'm not worried at all. I'm just gonna take and I. I gotta have to jack this up a little bit, and you know I don't have much room. I mean, look, I, I can't go up too much. I, she's kissing pretty tight. In fact, here it's touching. So I, you know, here's it's hitting the light. I mean, that just tells you, you know, you build an airplane, you don't have a lot of room. So uh, I'm gonna have to just lift this up a little bit, slide that those that table stand or sawhorse out, uh, very precisely mark maybe two inches off all four legs on both, put them on a miter box and cut it. Then I'm going to take and drop the table. And, uh, yeah, so that was kind of frustrating. Last night it was just, just seemed like nothing was working. And those are the times, you know, you just, you walk away. You just walk away, you know, have a beer. Play with your kids. Um, just don't play with your kids while you're having a beer.